गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन सो क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री पॉइंट वन जीरो लेट्स रीड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द क्वेश्चन वट दे आस्क ऑन एन ओपन ग्राउंड मोटरसाइकिल फॉलोज अ ट्रैक दैट टर्न्स टू हिज लेफ्ट बाय एन एंगल ऑफ सिक्सटी डिग्री आफ्टर एवरी फाइव हंड्रेड मीटर सो लेटस मोटरसाइकिल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम दिस पॉइंट ओके एंड एवरी पॉइंट इट इज टर्निंग हाउ मच डिग्री एंगल सिक्सटी डिग्री सो डेफिनेटली Uh, it is making a polygon of 120 degree. So if it is making a polygon, so how many sides will be there? So as per the polygon formula, so uh, there are six sides. If if an angle is 120 degree, then it has total six side. Okay. So everywhere it, internal angle is your 120. Internal angle is your 120. Okay. So O is your starting point. So O. So first uh, see here. After traveling 500, so everywhere it is traveling 500 meter. So everywhere 500 meter, every sides are 500 meter. Okay. A motorcycle turns at uh, specify the displacement of the motorcyclist at third, sixth, and eighth turn. So first of all, we need to so where is third turn, where is second, uh, eighth, sixth turn, and where where is your eighth turn? So this is your first turn. This is your first turn. This is your second turn. This is your third turn. This is your fourth turn. This is a fifth turn. This is a sixth turn. This is your seventh turn. So I will uh, change the color of the seventh turn. So uh, this is your seventh turn, and this is your eighth turn. We need to find. This specifies the displacement of the motorcycle with the third, sixth, and eighth turn, and compare the magnitude of the displacement with the total path of the length by the motorcycle in each case. Now we have to find in uh, turn turn. If I will talk about turn, so there is a turn. There is a displacement. and uh, there is a distance okay so we need to compare so first of all i will uh, go for third turn third turn so if, if i will go for third turn so where it is in third turn see this is your third turn so this is your oh, starting point is your this and this is your third turn okay and uh, third turn so uh, here what is the displacement can you imagine so can you imagine here what is the displacement this is your starting point this is the starting point o suppose this is your a b c d e and o so we need oc displacement that is oc what is the length of the oc so what is the length of the oc can we imagine see here so can we say here that if is it looking like a parallelogram so here we can intersect this so you will think that this side this side is equal this side this side is equal so this is your 500 meter and this is your also 500 meter so definitely oc is equal to oc is equal to how much oc is equal to 500 plus 500 that is equal to 1000 meter displacement Because displ displacement has a formula shortage distance, but what is the total length? So distance covered. So how many turns we have used here? How many turns uh, uh, turn we have done? See, five hundred, five hundred, five hundred plus one thousand. So one thousand plus high fifteen uh, hundred. So this will be total distance covered is your two five double zero meter. I hope you have understood now. Now I am talking about a uh, which turn? Third turn. It is complete. Now it is a of a turn of a sixth turn. So when we talk about a sixth turn, so where it is sixth turn? See here, this is your sixth turn, and this is your initial. So uh, sixth turn. When we talk about sixth turn, so displacement here is what? Displacement is O O only because its initial and final points are same. So displacement will be zero. So displacement will be. Zero. I hope it is visible now. Displacement is totally zero in the sixth turn. But what is the 
amount of distance it has traveled. So see here, one terms, one length, two length. See here, mm, uh, it's a one, one uh, 500, 500, 500. So each side has 500, and total, um, how many side it has traveled? Motorcyclist, one, two, three, four, five, six. So can we write here uh, six into 500? Because each side is your uh, 600, so this will be equal to 3,000 meter is the total distance travel. So you can imagine the displacement and the uh, distance difference. Now let us uh, consider for 8th term. When we talk about 8th term, so can we know what is the position of 8th term? 8th term, we will talk about 8th term. See here, this is your, see here, first term, second term, third term, fourth term, fifth term and sixth term. Again, this is your seventh turn and eighth turn. So we need to find this length as a displacement. That is, we have a displacement as a OB. Displacement as a OB. Uh, displacement as a OB. So displacement can be right here. Displacement as OB, and this is equal to how much length we have. We need to know, okay? And uh, distance, if you if you will uh, tell distance covered, uh, uh, distance covered is how much? Distance covered is how much, and what is the displacement? So we need to write right uh, right here. Okay. So see here, we have to uh, we have to find uh, this uh, formula. Now see here, a uh, displacement. We need displacement that is OB. And how, what is the distance covered? See here, since it is taking 8th turn, so first of all, we uh, we need to understand how it is taking uh, distance is how much. So this is 1 turn, 2 turn, 3 turn, 4 turn, 5 turn, 6 turn, 7 turn. Finally, it is taking 8 turn, 8 turn. So what is the distance covered? 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we, we can write here, Total distance covered is equal to 8 into 500, so this is equal to 4000 meter. But the thing is that how you will find a displacement. So the main important thing is that how you will find the displacement. Between whom? Between this 8th term. So uh, for finding displacement, we need to do some of the calculation like uh, um, uh, vector addition and all. Okay. Now let us uh, do this. See here. Actually, actually we need to find this distance, okay? Actually, we need to find this distance, uh, this distance, uh, sorry, this distance, and this is what uh, it is your uh, displacement, that is your OB, okay? So, how you will do this? So, since here, let us consider this as a, this is your 60 degree, because it is taking 60 degree turn, so definitely this will be 120 degree. So, since this, uh, these sides are equal, so this will be 30 degree, right? Now, if you know that, suppose this is your vector A and this is your vector B and the angle between this A, B, A and B is your 60 degree. So, how you will solve this? How you will solve this? So, use use uh, use this formula. Uh, which formula you will use? Resultant of this any two vector. So, if you want to find resultant of any two vector, so this will be equal to root under A square plus B square plus 2AB cos theta. So here magnitude of A and B are same that is equal to 500 square plus 500 square plus 2 into 500 because it has A has a value 500, B has a value 500 into cos 60. So 60 degree, what is the uh, cos 60 because the angle between these two vectors is 60 degrees so cos 60 it is your cos 60. So if you will evaluate these things, if you will evaluate these things, so you will get to know that uh, it's your 500 square plus 500 square plus 500 square. So that is equal to 500 root 3. And this is equal to finally, if you will calculate this, you will get 866 point, 866 point zero point something displacement. So this is your 866.01 at all. So you, I, I hope you have uh, seen this that always displacement is always less than or equal to the distance. So here every time you have seen that displacement is always less than. So I hope you have understood this question. Thank you everyone.